Yeah. Future, future Tony. Tony is joining our team. Super hairy. Greatest man we got on the squad. All right, so we're doing a cesarean. He's already done a paravertebral nerve block. All right, man, go for it. So again, there's nothing behind that skin that you're gonna hurt because you gotta cut through the external brick anyway. So you have to be bold, nice straight line. Nice straight line, yep. The length of the incision. Keep you going? Yep. Oh. Stay up, love, stay up. We've got this, which seems mean, but if she lays down, it can get nasty. So I might need to use this to wake her wakey. There you go. Keep going. Then what you want to do is cut through the external oblique. So you got the external oblique, the internal oblique, and the transverse abdominis. Yep. yep. Cut nice, nice straight line. You don't want to tilt it too much. That's why. Keep going. Let's go all the way down. Good. Okay. More up there. Keep going. Okay. So that's the transverse dominus? Yep. Move this. Beautiful. Then what you would do is you, you grit it. So you, actually use your, so you actually tear the muscles. Okay. Awesome. For the next bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's less bleeding. And it heals a bit better. Okay. And then that you've got the peritoneum. So yep. what you don't want to do is cut into the rumen, which is behind that. Yep. So, uh, so just take and make a like a small kind of little incision in it. Watch the pot see if they can Oh, cool. Now you can't deaden, you can't deaden the, the innervation to the peritoneum because it comes from inside the abdomen. Yep. Okay, so now we got a pretty big hole there. Cool, cool. Now we down. Okay, now I'm going to show you a trick. Yep. You want to go ahead and grab the, you want to grab the back leg and you want to pull it up like this. Yep. The incision. here yep. you're not going to tear the uterus so what i do is i'm um, i start pretty deep here yep and then because once you cut to here this is going to pop out perfect so start here where i've got my hand on the shoulder yep cut a nice straight line cut it there and then this is where the point of where the most pressure is so cut there a little bit and then that pop, push foot should pop through and then i'll grab it perfect. Get a nice straight line straight up okay i'll stop now connect it from that side this way that way that, that foot's going to pop through once you cut through that. Yep. Go ahead and finish that, yeah, otherwise it'll tear. Okay, now go ahead and keep deep into this. Just don't step my hand. Do not. Turn on the tape. Yep. Uh, now that should be big enough, so, so we can break that. And there's the other leg there. Can get that out of the way? Do you want a chain? Hey, give me that foot. Come here. Okay. Come on, Pete. Get a hand on that. Get him sitting up onto the sternum there, buddy.
Yeah, How much suit you like that? A uh, fair bit. I always pick more than you need. This way. Panel mic. Panel of a little cappy. Could this be here? Big ass curve needle? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, cute little bubba. Hand up. Hey. Hey. Then I'll, I'll start this for you. Yep. Good job, hey. He feels great, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> He's so oh, cute. Um, oh, she? What don't you do? Is that what you think of a, 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 a narrow pointing to the. Yep. So, so go in and out. out. Hey. He's and great. Yep. And back here. He's laughing like it. I don't know where he just comes from. That tree is nice out of you. And then off. And come back. From there to up there. So I'd look at me twice. Did you give her a final part? I did. Yep. Are you making an arrow? Yep. Are you trying to? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's all right. No, it's good. It, it helps. Um, because otherwise, after hurrying, you have to stitch it up before it goes in there. Pull that. Well, there's not much of a tail. And tie your, tie your surgeon's throw on that. Oh my god. Oh, okay. You got the move. Yeah. Grab your, grab your uh, nail gun. Do th two th throws. Grab it twice. There you go. That's called a surgeon's. Yeah. It's back up there, not scary. He's got Pull it snug, snug like a bug and rug. It should pull that, pull that V together. Up there, top should pucker it. Two beans. Two beans. Two beans. All right. So now it's a chicken track from now on. Go ahead and step that foot in off. Yep, this way. So what we're gonna do is go wide and in. So yep. Take a bite out wide, like here. And in, so try to stay in the, try not to go into the lumen too much you can. So out and in. Eat. like a nice French hot bread. Skip. And then out and in. And just keep working your way down. So it comes out, you're coming in like a 45 degree angle. Yep. Developed at the University of Utrecht in Guelph, where they do tons of, uh, um, uh, what do you call them, the, the double muscle breeds? Oh, the Belgian breeds. Belgian breeds. breeds. So, so they're like the masters of cesareans. Oh, this guy. How are your cows going this year, Raven? I mean, in it? Oh, yeah. It's not a great year for feed, as you know. Running out pretty fast, isn't it? Yeah, it sure turned off quick. So you gave up the one out on, on the highway? Yeah. <clears throat> Too much happening. Too busy. Yeah. How's the kiddos? They're yeah. getting big now, eh? Yeah. Yep. Aiden will be spewing here. He only just left with them to go to the show as well. <laughs> Do you want to keep a... You can keep running the camera, but keep tension on that string. For, yeah, of course. For Harry. So if you do that, then Harry can... I won't have to double. I won't have to do so much stuff. I love the Utrecht. It's great. Cool. Yeah. It's great. I even do it on my dog cesareans. Yeah, I did one recently. Cool. I love dog cesareans. I like cow cesareans more. But I don't know. I kind of got a thing for cows. <laughs> it's in the name. So kind of come out wide yep. and then yep. and just try to get into a rhythm. Into a rhythm. Beautiful. Great job there, Tony. Tony, excited to start with us? I'm so excited. So I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Did you find a um, 
Did you guys find some accommodation? Yeah, um, Jess's old place. Oh, she, sick. yeah, nice. messaged her. I'll come this way. Oh, yeah. Isn't problem, that, isn't it? Good. Yeah, accommodation in really Esperance? Yep. Yeah. Because this is paradise. Yeah. <laughs> Ems, are you guys, you guys still living out on the same road? Yeah. Corey Road? Yeah. I thought you guys were heading out of town when you let go of that block, but like I say, just too busy, eh? Yeah. Um, well, that was our plan. We're packing up to hit the road. Oh, all right. Um, not selling the house or anything. And we're just going to run this one farm. Just kidding. Oh. Oh. Tony joking, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much as we made that decision, then his dad and mum retired. Yeah. And then about a month later, he found out he's got cancer. Oh shit! So Sorry, out. Sorry, brother. That's it's. I freaking hate like cancer. It's all fixed. It's just on uh, radiation at the moment. That kind of put a pause on thinking about going anywhere, you know. Hmm. Maybe. See, that's kind of coming together like a little chicken track. Yep. yep. Looks good. You're doing good, bud. Oh, it's annoying. It is annoying. Look at all the monkeys. Lost my, lost my groove. Do you got those Olsen Hagers close by? Are they in your pocket or anything? Can you grab the? <laughs> yeah. I got that. Do you want to grab those? Uh, Olsen Hager um, needle drivers. Uh, just yeah, the scissors slash needle drivers. They're probably in that bucket. Okay. Just watch there's another scout on there, will it? The needle drivers? Um, oh, here they are. Here. Oh, sorry. Tony. Here, do you want them, Harry? Uh, Go ahead and trim that away, Tony. With the, with the Olsen oh, Hager. Can I put this down? I keep holding it and do it at the same time. <laughs> I'll keep going back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Trim this with these. This. Okay. Yep. Sorry. So you're a YouTuber, Enoch. Yeah. Jump on Finger. and have a look at Turbo's prospecting. Who's that? Aiden, my young fella. Oh, rad, cool. Yeah. Is he getting some getting some throughput? Yeah. Cool beans, yeah. yeah. Okay. Got, this one I set up for the vet students and um yeah, it's kinda It's really taken off, hasn't it? Yeah. It's cool. Uh, my, my high point is I was in America on holidays, and the guy walked up to me and said, "Hey, Nick, I, oh yeah, I thought he was, I thought he was somebody I knew." And he's like, "He's like, oh, I follow you on YouTube. That's, That's pretty so cool. cool." And he's a vet, and he's a vet, vet student. He's like, "Oh, oh. Hey. Pull, pull, pull your tight." That's why. I just took Aiden up to Mandra to do a drive line. Sorry. There's 14 of us in the room, and then we're gonna go and knew him as soon as we walked. That's in. cool. <laughs> Shit hot. Just give him a big high straight away, you know. That is rad, eh? Um, you want to hand that over to Pete? And Pete, you can do some camera work. Sorry, Tony. Okay. You want? Yeah. Stay there, he'll be fine. Shit, that's a big calf, yeah. man. That was not coming out the back door. <laughs> Good decision, yeah. Harry. Yeah. Like, if you, if he's not budging. So if probably... you can't start them by hand, yeah. like get one shoulder to clear the pelvis, and you know when it's done it, because the fetlock of the calf would be a hand's breadth past the vulva. Yeah. yeah. If you can't get it out past that, Pete will be able to give us a bit more context. Currently, it's got Tony, she's a great vet, but she's not a very good video photographer. It's amazing on YouTube. People go, oh, your cameraman sucks. I'm like, it's an octogenarian. It's an octogenarian. Muggles, guys. <laughs> it's Cletus. He spent his whole life looking after cows, feeding the world, and he expected to be a good photographer. Like, never seen a phone before. Don't want to stab you, eh? Stab you with your steely knife, <laughs> but you just can't fix the uterus. You good, see, it looks like chicken tracks. It's like railroad tracks. Yeah, you're doing a great job, buddy. <sighs> Yeah, so just remember the arrow points inward. Oh, yeah. When you, at either end of the incision, so when you get to the other end, I'll explain that end. Stay up, lovey. They're incredibly tough. I'm um, just thinking about laying down. Brother, you want to hit it with that yellow dog? Dog shot. Just give her a little buzz in the butt. Behind. Not the other That's my face. <laughs> Cattle prods, like a bunch of people are like, ah, they're so mean. But I really only use them for down cows to test whether or not they got sensation. And 
things like that. Kind of an emergency tool. Yeah. The voltage isn't that bad. Like, I got a mighty just every time I see him, he wants to give himself a little buzz buzz with it. Yeah. Can we do a circle of friends? You were in the circle of friends, weren't you? Uh, you chickened out? Yeah. Tony will do your circle of friends. What circle of friends? It's okay. You get in a circle and everyone gets hits one end of the hot shot and you go in a big circle that goes through the whole crowd. Oh, yeah. but circle of love. The end. Circle of love. Oh, it gets everyone. Everyone's the same. It's a bit of a myth that it's worse at the end. Oh, okay. <laughs> same with like you can grab a hot fence and and grab your mate. Nice to do that. Oh, you're awesome. Yeah. Walk okay. along next electric fence with my kids and they won't even come close to you. <laughs> How's B1? B2? Is your granddad still alive? He's my great uncle and he's still alive. Oh. He's moved to the Gold Coast. Um, so your dad's B2 though, isn't he? Yeah, my dad. Yeah. yeah, good. Um, he sold his part of the business um, and is working three days a week at the moment. Well, mm -hmm. he was working three days a week. Now he's in breeding, fourth breeding season. Cool beans. Seven days a week. Maybe, see how that's got a little tear there, so I'd step wide on that one. Oh, that's right, yep, yep, exactly. Putting up a battle, like gonna get when, us. when you get, if the end's a little bit kind of tore up, I just kind of take a bit wider bites towards the end just to kind of pull it all together. Because our goal is for her to get back in calf next year. Yes. And so because this is e inverting, um, go ahead and start it again, brother. I just push go now, so <laughs> I think we just held the camera all that time. <laughs> Okay, so then snip this a little bit. Give yourself just maybe a little bit. Yep. Now to go in there, right where this is in the exact same hole. Okay, so as close as you can. Come out of the same way. Okay, so it's just cool. It doesn't really matter. You're just, all you're doing is you're inverting the stick. <laughs> anyway, pull that. Yeah, feel that, feel that pop. Yeah, so now it's inverted. So now you just snip that. That's it. Nothing on the outside. Noise, noise, noise. noise. Okay, so get yourself some more purpley. Yep. And, uh, one. Lovely and in there. Oh. Okay. So you want to make sure that you grab yeah, it's the cup. It. Make sure that you're grabbing the ferret in. Is it up the top here? Yeah, it should be to the right. Is there somewhere? Stitch, make sure you grab the ferret name. Yep. Do you need some more suture? Yes. Move it out. Um, just the uh, I mean, it's simple, continuous. Nice. Grab the ferret name. Everything except the external oblique. And then with the S name. Yep, that's why I use these S on the other one. Super needle. They're super swans. They're super hairy. How did you end up with no blood on you? And... <laughs> you don't have a vet nurse for nothing, do you? <laughs> <laughs> nurse Easy E. <laughs> uh, and no, what I try to do on that one is I try to leave it long enough that I can go down yep. and then come back and tie off together. Oh, but but you, you might have enough. Just, just see you go. Mm. If not, it doesn't matter. You can get some more stretch. That's kind of what I do. And then, so it's a two layer closure and then the skin. Correct. So you reckon. So you just want to make sure you're picking up the pair of me. Yep. That there. Awesome. And all that temporary stuff. And then that external oblique that you cut through is what you finish the closure with. Okay, awesome. So I just kind of grabbed that. Yeah. Right. Oh. Big hole. <laughs> Big hole, I know you're the one. Stuff's got, got great knot security, but it doesn't hold. 
hold well in this case. It's great, great suture material to work with. mistake. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We've all done it. Hey. And we'll all do it again. <laughs> That's alright. Hey. Enoch was watching <laughs> waiting for the laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I can see what he's doing here. Yeah, no, 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 it's good. It's good. Oh, it was meant to happen. That was purely for demonstration purposes only. <laughs> Tony will never make that mistake now that you've seen it. <laughs> I probably will. <laughs> Early on the list of jobs today when they got up. Oh, I've got a long list job list as well, cowboy. It doesn't stop, does it? No, sorry, Bobby twins. I've been gone for almost two weeks. So. Went over to New South and AI'd over there, and then went down to Flinders Island and Cavi and yeah. gave a talk there, and then I was in Western Districts of Victoria, and then, then I had to go to Augusta to AI some cows the last couple of days. And, yeah. I've been everywhere, man, I've been everywhere. Doesn't stop, is it? Hospital, hospital, jail, jail. <laughs> nice. Did you go through that time? Yeah, I did. Ooh. Right up to four. Four on the floor, I'm sure. Ring. Good job, Harry. Thanks. How did, how did Swanee work out? You needed a hand. Did you guys just give a ring and say, hey? No. Uh, I just rang and was like, Katie, hey, I'm um, going to do it. Oh, cool. And, well. Oh, because right, Swanee's like, you got to get out there. Oh, okay, cool. Beautiful. Oh, I just want to make sure we support you in your, in yeah, your first, no, in your first go. There's a couple little tricks you picked up, eh? Yeah, that was good. The little rope's good. Yeah. That's See, that held her over so she's not getting into your rail. Yeah. It's not. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Unless you wanted to do this tone? Yeah, I'd love to hold it. You want to? Yeah. yeah. Here. Get a I'll do, look. You do the cool stuff. Yeah. I'll get the heck out of the way. Da, na, 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 na. What we have here is an abdominal closure. Uh, there, there are multiple ownerships though, like um, the one property is the beef machine where um, the people that own it, um, we um, sold half the cows to them, so that's uh, so, we, so I, I manage it, but they get half the proceeds. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's been that's been really neat, kind of like clearing new land, really. Like, yeah. The, getting rid of the trees. Yeah, getting rid of the managing the stumps and things. It's coming along really well. Just wish the market was back where it was. Jeez, it'll be back in a couple of years, I reckon. Are you guys still doing butchered stuff? Yeah. Yep. A couple of years, you reckon? Well, there's talk about in the last quarter of next year that it could be coming back, but I think it's going to get worse before it gets better. Yeah. Because the abattoirs are talking about putting a five in front of the kill press. So currently they're paying all $6.40 over the hooks. Yeah. When that was as high as nine dollars fifty. Yeah. Yeah. So then that's put a lot of downward pressure. And then the price of grains got the feedlotters kind of backed into a corner. So the only guy that can't go anywhere is the cow calf guy. You know how that goes. The, the grocery store screws the abattoir. Abattoir screws the feedlotter. Feedlotter screws the stalker. Stalker screws the cow calf guy. Cow calf guy is not allowed to screw his animals. It's illegal. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that. Yeah, it goes, it? Oh, yeah, everyone in the supply chain is suffering though. Oh, maybe the well, and the abattoirs were suffering when it was when the, when the, when the price was so high because yeah. there was so much grass around. But the El Nino is part of the reason. It's just gotten dry all of a sudden, and the national herd's quite big. But the Yan the Yankee herd's huge right now. Yeah, huge. 
or oh, sorry, small, and the prices are huge. So they're at the opposite side of that of that teeter totter, that seesaw effect. So. Um, Okay, well, kind of what will happen is the Yanks will exit the export market, which for export, you know, premium product, long day stuff, jet box. So that'll that'll help us with our ability to market meat. And then also the when they're when they're rebuilding, they don't, they um they run short on mints, and they love our mints because our like we our mints is pretty lean, like from that northern stuff. So they'll a lot of our mints will go, and I think it gets shandied in with the with the with some of the U.S. mints. Um, or whatever, whatever it is that makes it happen. But yeah, there's often a lot of demand for manufacturing beef. So hopefully that'll, uh, come on love, stay up, stay up. No, 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 stay up, just a little bit longer, love. You're all right, love. I have to use a different suture. Are we coming back the other way? Yep, that's cool. I mean, that's that's kind of the way I used to always do it as well. It's just, you can have enough to finish her up. So when I do my last throw, I just come back the other direction so so that my loop is on the opposite side, if that makes sense. Yep. Digging, digging what I'm burying? I am. Just Picking up what I'm laying down? Probably, just uh, do one more. I can. Yep. Where no. about the New South Wales? I was over by Armadale. Yep. Yeah, it's dry there. Um, yeah, in Queensland, apparently it's pretty diabolical. Someone was telling me they, they had a, a store sale and um, they averaged 80 bucks yeah. per head. $80 per head. Whew. So we're still doing pretty well over here. I mean, yeah. if you scratch around, you can get three bucks for your calves, for your steers, which just the inputs are so much higher. They are. The fertilizer price, everything's going to yeah. Trucking and fuel and. And yeah, like I said, the grain price is pretty high, yeah, yeah. thanks to Senior Putin. Um, and then the Chinese are starting to buy barley again, so barley's pretty hot again. All my family and friends are on the east coast over there in New South Wales, and I see one of my mates, old man's looking for a jessman for 50 out of cattle. Hmm. You can't get them by the end of the month, we have to put the whole lot down. Oh, geez. Hey, I was, I was just talking to a guy up station up near Exmouth, and he's in a similar boat. They're carting them out. They're weaning them down to 50 kilos. Mm. So. They take a long time to grow from there, don't oh, they? Oh, I sure do. And they need a tremendous amount of protein then because they're not a ruminant yet. You know, they're just essentially, they're just like people. We can't eat grass either. So he's having to buy a lot of pellets in, and he's just trying to do the best job he can. Good fella. It's a tough situation. That's, yeah, that's, you can only do what you can do, can't you? Copy, yeah. Good job, like bro. That's looking good. Yes. Another layer over the top and... Bob's your uncle. And I run a, I run a two-bucket technique where I've got... The first bucket is kind of the one that I just kind of get most of the bulk off my arms and then the next one if I need to... Yeah, run out of water. All right. Yeah. <laughs> she gave me water. Run out of water? Any hey, water? <laughs> That's pretty long one. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind holding that? Yeah. Thank you. Have you done any cesareans with your dad? No. <laughs> Did you go do a fair bit with dad growing up? Like yeah, out and do stuff? Yeah. Awesome. That was pretty fun. Your dad Very, as well. Yeah, in um, central Queensland. Yeah. Oh, right, in the CQ. But yeah. their practice like is surrounded by sugarcane. Yeah, in the sugarcane fields. Like it's pretty cool. rad. Like it's <laughs> bang, little little railway tracks for the sugarcane carts <laughs> going past the. Really? <laughs> I never thought that that was a, a notable thing about Mackay, really. Oh, I thought it was pretty rad. All the little tracks for all the it's little cute. sugarcane it's carts. It's a nightmare when you're running late for work because you get a one kilometer long sugarcane train uh -huh. going at two kilometers an hour. <laughs> and then you go, sweet sugarcane. Home of Bundy. Did you know Nikki Plath, Nikki Green? That was yeah, from... when I was really little. Yeah, that's she, awesome. Cool beans. Yeah, I remember her. She has a really nice smile. That's what I remember. Yeah, yeah. She's a cracker. Bundy Rum Girl was her uh, was her uh, email address. <laughs> really? Yeah. And when I got here, she's like, "You want a Bundy?" And I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> and then my love affair began. <laughs> love Bundy. I think 
Van de Vogue rum was the first thing I ever got a hangover from. <laughs> I haven't been able to drink it since. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, they give it to you in your milk bottles over there in Queensland, don't they? They're only six months old when you got hung over. <laughs> cool beans. How you going, lovey? She looks pretty happy up there. She goes, I'm really keen to meet my calf. How you going, little buddy? Oh, yeah, mom's coming. Mom's coming. Hey, you're a thumping calf. Are you feeding out any hay yet? No. Okay. If you do ever near calving, if you feed them in the evening, they tend to calve during the day. It makes it a lot easier. Yeah, right. Yeah. Just a cool little side trick. I thought I was done. This is a surprise, this one. You, you, oh, yeah. you can also, um, when you take a bite through the, through the right hand side, then go down, just pick up a little bit beneath, and so it just closes up dead space. Sure. Okay, cool. Just kind of hold it together. Yeah. <coughs> when I close the skin, I, I also finish up with a couple cruciates down at the bottom, just yep. so if you end up with a... Uh, if you end up with a... Yep. And just do a fold inch locking on the skin. Yep, yep, yep. Mike, I only have some blanket stitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I only do it like every, ah, uh, say, third or, you know, third or fourth bite. Yeah, okay, cool. Keep it. And then just make sure you don't, because those S curves are pretty sharp. Just make sure you don't accidentally yeah. make, your, make your other uh, suture line. Looking good, brother. Super fun, eh? Yeah, pretty good. What a way to start a Friday. So cool. Mm. Show weekend, mate. We could have had everyone out here for a look. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, you could have done an exhibition. <laughs> Eddie could make a good cloud, I reckon. Just done it around right. going nuts. <laughs> right. If I was going to rodeo, that's what I'd do, I reckon. <laughs> Bullfighting? God, those guys, they've, they've got the biggest huevos of all, I reckon. Let a young Clint still into it, eh? Yeah, yep. Still riding. Still riding, still clowning. Yep. Mad. Good kid. He kind of, he was down here working for us, as you might have remembered, but then he, he wanted to be closer to the rodeo scene, so he went up around Perth. And... Yeah. Yeah, well, I think that's all he lives for, and his girlfriend's right into riding as well. So there. She chases cans. Is she a barrel racer. Or? Uh, they're roping together. Oh, rad, cool. Yeah. You rodeo, Tony? No. <laughs> Do you ride horses? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done a bit of mustering, but um. Yep. Are you mad keen on horses? Sure. I really like horses. Right yeah. on. Yep. Yeah. Are you bringing a horse over? No, no. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Give a horse false teeth. Oh, they they oh, used to do that for cattle, remarkably. Really? Can you do it for horses? <laughs> Ooh, I've never... Uh... What would it cost to attempt it? Uh, How badly do you want, want your um, horse to Rob's done feet? some pretty cool stuff with uh, Prinsloo. Um, but I don't know if they've ever done that. You'd have to Google it first, brother. Everything's on Gok or Google. Well, M's horse is 100 years old. The only thing that's letting him down is he can't eat. Oh, he had a set of false teeth, he's probably got another 10 years. Well, you can feed them gum nuts because they're quite quite digestible. My old pony's getting like that too. She's, I think she's got like three back teeth left. Yeah. We're just feeding her like a liquid diet, really. Yeah, that's just about what this poor fellow is. Right he gets a mouthful Ooh, of grass nice. and chews it right up into a bowl and then and just And then the last bite, just go back the other direction. Yep. So your loop's on the. Same with when I finish my um, 40 mile walking. Yeah. Yahoo! Great job. You've made this look pretty easy, Harry. I think uh, I'm going to get a rude shock when I do my first one. So the, the, of, of all the, the little tips that I had today, that one where you, go, you reach in with your left hand and you grab the point of the hawk. Yeah. And you get your right hand over the top of the foot and then drag that out to no, the no incision. And it... um. It just kind of holds it there for you, kind of locks it in yeah. while, while you're doing stuff. Yeah, that's really cool. When they're when you do on breach, it's a little bit harder. Sometimes you got to reach in and oh, yeah, cut into the abdomen. But because you gave the plant apart, it um, allowed you to e externalize the uterus. And yeah. if, if the calf's deceased, which I, I tend to try to avoid doing cesareans on deceased calves, yeah. but if, if you have to, it's really critical to get that uterus outside the. Yeah, just to avoid uh, any. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, you end up with spills. 
Putting up with the bad juju. Man, that, you've done a great job, brother. Pretty sure. Uh, yeah, that'll be perfect. Wait. Thank you. Can you get a job really? like not just lie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Plastic surgeon, Harry. You think of it for proof, ain't it? Explain recording. Yeah, yeah. Hey, mate. Yeah. That's looking good. Rink. Cool beans. Um, so you can use the S curve needle, but it's a real popping motion. I like um, you gotta like really pop it through the through the skin because yep. because their skin's like leather. That is good job. Good job. Nice. <laughs> I was favorite, like, what? Favorite cow joke. Nice. One of my favorite cow jokes, at least. Sorry, it took me way too long. No, you got it immediately. I didn't get it till you said something. <laughs> <laughs> So you, you like put some force behind it? Yeah, so um, if you gotta gotta really like get yourself up and pop through, pop, there it goes. Pop, pop, goes a weasel, goes a weasel, goes pop, pop, pop. If you're ever in a, in a real bind and need a suture, you can you can thread it onto a needle, works pretty good too, like a like a yeah. hypodermic needle. Oh, okay. Katie was saying that. Yeah. Sorry. Give me a second. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Sorry. You see the photos getting around of that dude that stabbed him with that good air needle? No, I didn't. Oh, it met, sure makes a mess. Man, hell. I had to cut like a big lumps out of his arm. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. Kind of made him stuck himself in the knee. Oh. Yeah, so he doesn't use it anymore because of it. Oh, Cer <laughs> certainly jackhammered it. You know, in small animal medicine, they say you, you don't want to go too tight. You can go, you can go tight on cows. Oh, okay, cool. Yep. Just put their skin because much, much, much thicker, much better holding. Cool. Right, like right. that. Yeah. yeah. So when you pop through on that one, here, hang on, just for a second. I'll just show you how that kind of. Yeah. Just kind of going like that, and I do about that sort of length. Oh, this is a nice sharp. One. And then you can take this guy and see how I'm, see how I'm using it. See how I'm using it to pull the oh, yeah, part yeah. of the skin up? That when it pops through. So it makes it nice and tight and then bosh. So you're using this guy to, to hold it. Amazing. So pop and pop. Okay. So. Now pop. Pop goes the weasel, goes the weasel, go pop, pop, pop. Yep. And turn it and then use your, use your suture to pucker it for you. So grab the suture yourself off top. Snug, like use it to kind of crowd the. There you go. There you go. And pop through. Nice. Cool. Super red. You dig it the most. Cool. And every now and again, I just go like, I just give it a push to kind of yep. put the edges and you vert them. Pop. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait. Can't help it. No, no, you're good. Thank you. Poppity 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 poo. If you ever have to stitch together a meat blanket, you are gonna be rocking it. Meat blanket. <laughs> <laughs> like for Lady Gaga. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> like a meat dress. Like a meat dress, like a meat dress. And pop. <laughs> so it's a real thrust. Yeah. Like if you push, 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 you don't just struggle. You struggle to get through. But so if you, you, have you to pop it, it's a real popping motion. So you have to get pop. Yeah. Get very thrusty. Sorry, that's <laughs> not probably appropriate oh, for you. Very thrusty. <laughs> <laughs> so one, two, three. Okay. Yeah, that's that's no. right. Every now and just go bloop, bloop. And you got, I, I love sound effects. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. <laughs> Sproing. Nice. Oh, now you're getting it. And before long, you're just like, <laughs> yeah. it's like, like a semi automatic rifle. You just. I was going to say, Scott made it look so easy. <laughs> He's pretty thrusty, though. Just ask Mecca. Oh, now they're going. I'm living with him still. He's still oh, he's here. still here, of course. Um, he's goodbye dinner tonight. Oh, right. He's leaving on Tuesday. 
I like to reach out to him. Cause I was away. I missed the uh, I missed the goodbye dance. <laughs> but he's coming back. He so it's only a, until next time. Did you get some time with him, Tony? Yeah, yeah. Last time yep. I was here, I spent a bit of time with him. I'm so I, sad he's leaving. Yeah, and no, I'll come back. I'll be ready. I think we go to 11 vets once you guys are here. Oh, that'll be so cool. Where are we all going to Yo, fit? 11. <laughs> we will find a way. You ever seen those clown cars? They'll be like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'll be range of five. <laughs> <laughs> we should do like a... <laughs> yeah. That would be, that'll be so a great so gag, wouldn't funny. it? Yeah. Have all the vets just crawl, crawling out. <laughs> We could we could kind of rig it to where you're just crawling through the yeah, passenger door and we could be like, hey, get a vet, get another vet, and just keep feeding us through. That'd be a great um, that would video be so for Ellie. Funny. We could do it out of um, Harry's car, out of a little red car. Uh. <laughs> and eventually those get a bit dull. Super rad. So yeah, um, Tony, for the for the bit of the story. So when you get behind a cow, yeah. and then I hook onto the feet, I throw a, a loop above the diastema, so up above the up above the fetlock, yeah. and in the in the thin part, so you're not near the growth plate, yeah. and then throw a half hitch that's oh. pretty much right where the glue claws are, like right yeah. over the, over the hooves, and then I um, um sorry, I've got talking and screwing up. Oh, yeah, perfect. Nice. But then when you pull on that leg, you should be able to get the the fat lock hands breadth past the vulva. Yep. And if you can, then keep tension on that one. Pull the other one. If you can pull both of them a hands breadth past the vulva with with as much force as you can use physically without using any mechanical aid, yep. then you should be able to pull the calf without okay. without hurting the cow. And then the next bit is after that bit, you pull with, once they're both popped through and you'll feel them slip past the pelvis. Yep. Then you pull on them together. Yeah. And um, the next big hurdle is the head. And once the head pops through, disconnect one leg okay. and use the other leg to twist the calf so oh, that so you're that turning them. Yeah, to whip. Yep, because the greater trochanters of the calf, it's the widest aperture. Yep. And the widest aperture in the cow is about a 45 degree angle. So if you spin the head about, not in the trunk, about 90 degrees, maybe a little bit more, okay. it'll it'll move those greater trochanters so you don't cause calving paralysis. Yeah. And then I'll take one off go back and then we'll do some cruciates. Mm -hmm. I reckon one big cruciate to you, good brother. Can okay. I go back this way? Yeah, yeah. Oh, one more. Maybe one more and then a cruciate, I reckon. I reckon it's going to be awesome because you've done a good job. And we'll push it all back in. What do you think, Pete? It's good. What do you think, Kev? I'm hungry. He says, I'm getting yeah. hungry. I'm almost ready to stand. Oh, oh, oh. You can do it, little bully. Oh, he's so yeah. cute. He's huge. I'll get a photo. <laughs> cheesy. Yeah. It's not easy being cheesy. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, do that. You can and still finish your. Go ahead and grab that loop still. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yep. There you go. Under that. And then I'm going to go. I'll go through that first. So you finish up your blanket stitch. Bloop. Yep, and now go here. Yep, and then oh, sorry. come out, uh, go under, and then you've got this loop, I think. Yeah. Well, maybe I screwed that up, but anyway, it'll, it'll be good. <laughs> Ripper, ripper, ripper. Get any little molders you want taken off all the night. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Bling. Bling. Oh man. Yeah. 
Yeah, that jump's tough. Yeah, worthless. Yeah, well, that's, a, that's a bummer. Cool beans. A little cruciate at the end. Want some more switch air, brother? Yes, please. For you. Stop. Should let Tony do the cruciate. Yeah, so she can feel the skin. What do you want to do the whole thing? Feel the skin. I'm worried about the skin. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, it's just a blunt needle. What's See what I'm doing? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Absolutely. Looks good, man. Thanks, Eddie. That was good. Great job. Enjoyed that. So neat, Harry. Thanks. Yeah. Sorry, we, they sent the cavalry out, but um, oh, no, it's no. always handy having someone yeah, looking over your shoulder. Eh? Oh, no, no, it's good. I was kind of, when I heard there was a cabin going, I was like, oh, I wonder if I should jump in with Harry just to see if I can show him a couple of tricky, trickety doodahs. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the skin. <laughs> That's crazy. Just yeah. don't poke yourself in the finger. Like it, like I've, uh, I've buried it in my thingy a couple times. Okay, just, yeah, well, don't, 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 <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> freaking me out! <laughs> Ooh, beans. Another oh right to left, gorgeous. You pulling it through like yeah, you're doing good. Yep, you're doing awesome. Their skin's like leather. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where I'm making like a swedged on needle from a um, from a hypodermic needle works pretty good because they're so blinking sharp. I've only had this like, Yes. Oh, oh, I got yes. sent off to do a cesarean at another job that I had and we, we didn't bring needles. <laughs> so I had to make some on the fly. They worked good. Thank you. Nice. Happy days. Grab you some Sintos and then awesome. Thank you. Oh, should I do surgeon's No, whichever. Good job, Tony. <laughs> I feel like you should have done the whole thing. Harry. No, that's fine. It's just a cruise ship. <laughs> should be right. Oh my god, the blood makes everything so slippery. <laughs> I did not expect how slippery this would be. Ooh. Nice. Perfect. And we'll give her some drugs and then we're all done. We'll give it a spray. Cool. Do you want me to wipe this blood off? Like where? Like, uh, yeah, you can off. use that towel there. Awesome. Live calf. Happy days. So, what are we giving you after? Oh, oxytocin. There nice. you go. So, there's a worldwide shortage of this. Really? Yeah. Wow. And I'll, I'll get you some anti inflammatories and some antibiotics. I'll just keep bringing them over. Amazing. Well yeah. done. Well, well, should we keep going? Get Tony giving needles. Yeah. Sorry. Into the muscle. Do you go into the rump? <laughs> or uh, into the neck? Yeah, yeah, you can do. Chair on your plane. So that's oxytocin. Should be. Oh, yep. yep. Cool. Nice. Love your work. Oh, that's dangerous. What is? Putting that in your pocket. The cap's on it. Oh, uh, <laughs> you don't go. reckon? Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't trust the cap. <laughs> no, you should see how many I'll bring home every day. I'm just like. No. <laughs> Awesome. I'll give her a bit of antibiotic. <laughs> Hello, Ems. Hello. Right, and then some extinosad on the surgery site. Uh, oh, it certainly yeah. wouldn't hurt. Yeah. I've um, I use, I just use purple spray normally. Okay. Yeah, cool. Extinosad probably be alright. 
Oh, pepper spray. Has yeah. a. Has it's a, got a little bit of an extra flow. Yeah. Uh, the flies don't really seem to bother incisions much. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, cows, I don't know why, why, but they seem to be a little bit more resistant to. Unless it's got like a flap or something. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, you know, on pizzles and. Yeah, Bellano. Oh, exactly what we needed. Awesome. Hello, Andy. <laughs> You're so cute. He's like, what did I just go through? Like, that was weird. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, is that meant to happen? Yeah. <laughs> probably, look, if you, if you could have forced him out of the, out of the back end, he'd probably be like it's quite a nice it's quite a nice exit for him coming up yeah. the uh, sunroof i reckon yeah. <laughs> i think they'd they probably prefer it if you were to if you were to ask them <laughs> yeah just a bit, bit harder on the lady I'll get some, I'll get some spray. We, if you want we can see if we can get him up and get him on the yeah awesome. get him on the get him on the boob so we'll lay this out and make sure there's no tears no I'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> with work with the fork <laughs> Initial it with the big H. Yeah. <laughs> Good plan. <laughs> Sorry. It's <laughs> <laughs> the worst H in the world. I like your tippy table. That's a cool idea, really. Yeah. I was like, oh, we'll make something. See if we can get this little dude on there, right? Yeah, yeah. You gotta help me here, Captain. <laughs> Time, buddy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set these guys up to let them like that. Maybe we'll just leave them, leave them to each other's devices. You're gonna have to get up on your own, get your own drink, buddy. Too heavy. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to get a photo. Oh yeah, I'll take a picture of you with it. Ready? If that's all right. Yeah, go on. Do you want me to do it on my phone? Oh yeah. So lame. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh.